Yo, what's up guys? It's Kaju here and I'm coming at you with a new tutorial explaining how I allow my chat to control my face filters in stream. This allows them to trigger a command, spend currency and make my face turn into something else. Um, what I'm using for this is snap camera. Um, snap cam got shut down in January of this year, 2023 and a content creator named Jaku. Uh, you can go to twitter.com slash Jaku to say what's up to him if you want. He's got all his information in the app as well. So whenever you go download it, you can see it. You can donate to him. He's actually paying to keep up servers and to create to allow Snapcam to continue um, and and giving it to people for free. So like you don't have to pay to use it, but you can donate to him uh, to help keep it running. Essentially, um, most of the filters are in here, not all of them from Snapcam. So I don't know how many people uh, used to use Snapcam. Some of the filters you had might be gone. Uh, I suggest digging deep into the filters that are possible using different words and stuff because I had lost a filter um, for Lord Bartholomew and then I ended up actually finding one that was nearly identical to the filter, um, thus saving Bartholomew. Uh, so basically what I'm trying to get out here is you got to get Snapcam. I'll put the link. I'll put a link to a tutorial video from Nutty uh, on getting Snapcam and I'll put a link directly to the snap cam download if you want to just dive in it's really not that difficult but the video might help you if you don't know what you're doing um and then i'll explain the rest here so after you've downloaded snap cam and you have everything the other thing you're going to need is streamer bot i'm assuming you already have it if you're watching this video but if not just go look up streamer.bot and get the download um i i just stay up to date on the newest beta version consistently but it really doesn't matter what version you're on i don't think if you're trying to do this specifically so basically and snap cam you're gonna have your uh filters you need to favorite your filters so in order to favorite a filter you're gonna find the filter and you're gonna click the little star basically and that'll add it to your favorites once it's in your favorites you can click this little keyboard up here in your favorite situation or whatever and let me turn this my face was a cartoon for a second and so basically you're going to click this keyboard and this will allow you to add hot keys to the filters. Um, basically this, this should work in the background as well. I usually have my snap cam minimized and it works fine. Sometimes it's finicky and you have to have snap cam actually up and active for the hot key to affect it. But uh, yeah, you just set, set up the uh, hot keys. You'll be good there. The th only thing I'll say about uh, snap cam before I switch to the streamer bot portion is essentially I I had a DSLR camera set up for my stream really nice camera Sony a6100 um, and it's terrible on snap cam because the resolution and I don't know how to change the resolution I don't know any of those details my recommendation is to get uh, an Elgato face cam it it's been the best working camera with snap cam for me since I've been using snap cam for years uh, it is a little little pricey, but the Elgato face cam is phenomenal. I own two of them. Uh, one of them is actually on this TV right here, and that's how I get my back view on my stream. Um, definitely recommend it and utilize that. You can use the uh, Elgato face cam cam hub to change the lighting and everything to make it look good in snap cam. Um, but after you've made those hotkeys, what you're going to do, you're going to go into here. You're going to make an action on streamer bot, right? The action I, I just keep them all in a filter and then i keep this them in the snap cam queue that way they don't overlap each other when the commands are triggered if someone triggers a second one it'll go through both of them in line so basically um what you do is you're going to trigger the hockey through keyboard press keyboard press is a core and then system keyboard press and then you can do control alt shift with whatever button you're trying to press and you can test it to see if it triggers your snap cam um, if it doesn't, then you're doing something wrong. But basically, you trigger that keyboard press, and then I do a, a random delay. So core, delay, and then I do between a minute and five minutes, and I do random. And so basically, when someone triggers it, they give me, it goes up for between a minute and five minutes, and then after the time limit that it chooses between those two times, it, it hits the hotkey again. So basically, the way Snapcam works is if I hit the hotkey, I'm going to be on the filter. If I hit the hotkey again, I'm off the filter. Um, super simple. And then I just rig up the command to the loyalty system command. 
Unfortunately, StreamerBot is only um, viable on YouTube and Twitch right now. So they're going to have to be able to make the command from a YouTube or Twitch chat in order to make StreamerBot recognize this. I don't know about any other bots that, that can do this through other platforms. If you find that, then it's pretty much the same concept. As long as it can trigger hotkeys, then you've got it set up. And that's how I allow my viewers to change my snap cam filters. If this content is helpful, if you're enjoying it, definitely hit that subscribe button and I will be making a lot more tutorial videos explaining basically everything I do with my stream and then some.